Hi guys, welcome back to another video and this video is the second part of the topic photomorphogenesis. In the last part, in the previous part before this one, I had explained the topic cryptograms that was the first part of photomorphogenesis and now we'll be studying about what are what is phototrophins. Alright, so phototrophin is a type of flower protein which acts as a blue light photoreceptor. In the last video, if you haven't watched it, guys, just go and watch it. It explains you, uh, 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 you know, it explains you in a very brief manner and also in a well explained manner. Uh, because these topics I don't think they're very very important in the exams point of view so I've just told you the limited features and you can go and watch out the cryptochrome video and now uh, we'll be starting with phototrophins so what are phototrophins it is a type of flower proteins and it is acting like a act as a blue light photoreceptor like cryptograms are usually present in the nucleus all right in the last video i have already told you where the cryptograms are present they are predominating in the nucleus and as it is written here they also are predominating in the nucleus so phototropins are usually associated with the membranes cryptograms are usually associated with the nucleus but in case of phototrophins, they are not associated with the nucleus, they are present in the membranes. That is, they are usually associated with the membranes. So, they are indirectly referred as the membrane-associated proteins. And they lack a membrane-spanning domain. They do not have any membrane-spanning domains. So, now we know that what are phototrophins? It is a type of a flavoproteins. That is, uh, they act as a blue light photoreceptor and second point they are predominantly present on the membranes and not in the nucleus unlike you know the scriptograms scriptograms are present in the nucleus but phototrophins are present in the membranes and they have oh uh, sorry and they lack a membrane spanning domain so now this also consists of the two terminals that is the n terminal and c terminal so the N-terminal side binds flavin mononucleotide that is FMN and carboxy terminal domain uh, ha has the characteristics of a serine threonine kinase. So we are saying that the two domains are present N-terminal domain and the C-terminal domain. So the N-terminal domain it is binding with the FMN that is flavin mononucleotide and the C-terminal that is the carboxy terminal domain has characteristics of serine threonine kinase as you can see in this diagram above all right so uh, the uh, photosensory domains located at the n terminus has two lov domains short form may you can just call as love domains it has two love domains it is you know be easy to memorize if you remember that phototrophin is having you know uh, the two major domains at the n terminal domain not at the c terminal but at the n terminal domain they have photosensory domains and they are two in number they are called as lov domains all right so what does lov basically means we'll be starting now so lov domains exhibit protein sequence homology to motifs found in the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes that is the domains the two domains which are present in the n terminal they exhibit protein sequence in kipas as protein sequence hote hain that show homology that is similar in characteristics to the motifs which are found in the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic proteins yeah. so they are involved in sensing light oxygen or voltage and from here only comes the full form that is l stands for light o stands for oxygen and v stands for voltage so basically what are lov domains lov domains are basically the predominating domains in the n terminal region of the phototropins all right so now these domains are having similar sequences which are uh, you know showing homology with the motifs which are found in prokaryotes and eukaryotes so the proteins that are involved in sensing light oxygen and voltage are usually referred as LOV domains and they are two in number all right always remember they are present in a pair it is not a single LOV domain it has only double domains all right in case of phototrophin so now what we have studied what is a phototrophin it is a type of flavor protein which is usually present in the plasma membrane oh sorry uh, yeah in the membranes and it is not associated inside the nucleus and it has two domains n terminal domain and c terminal domain all right so n terminal domain basically binds 
combined with FMN and C-terminal domain has characteristics of serine and threonine kinase. So the photosensory domain which is located in the N terminus has two domains that is LOV that stands for light, oxygen and voltage. Alright and LOV domains exhibit protein sequence homology which is uh, similar to that of the prokaryotic and eukaryotic proteins. A blue light irradiation of the protein bound FMN usually starts or, by, uh, or brings a conformational change in phototrophins. Jesse blue light irradiation of the MSF Jesse. Uh, phototropins pe blue light padti hai theek hai usi case mein kya hota hai it starts the uh, irradiation of the, it helps in the uh, irradiation of the protein bound fmn usually starts or brings a conformational change in the phototropins theek hai iski wajah se kya hota hai it triggers the process of the autophosphorylation and starts the sens uh, sensory transduction cascade that means as soon as the blue light irradiation starts द प्रोटीन बाउंड एफ एम एन तो जितना भी प्रोटीन बाउंड एफ एम एन होता है इट यूजली स्टार्ट और ब्रिंग्स अ कन्फर्मेशनल चेंज कन्फर्मेशनल चेंज इज हाउ इज द अरेंजमेंट द अरेंजमेंट दैट वॉज प्रीवियसली यू नो मेन इज नाउ डिफरेंट इन केस ऑफ आफ्टर द इफेक्ट ऑफ ब्लू लाइट इरिटेशन और राइट सो नाउ दैट इज अ चेंज इन द फोटोग्राफ इन दैट ट्रिगर्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑटोफॉस्फोराइलेशन ऑटोफॉस्फोराइलेशन द प्रोसेस स्टार्ट एंड इट स्टार्ट द सेंसरी ट्रांसक्शन कैसकेट Now, in case of Arabidopsis, we will see that there are two different types of photo uh, phototrophins, uh, and they uh, you have overlapping functions along with having unique physiological roles. So we have said that in case of uh, Arabidopsis, there are two different types of phototrophins, and these are FOT1, that is PHOT1, and PHOT2. Along with having unique physiological roles, they also have their overlapping functions. Now we will see what happens when the photodropin is present in presence of light, uh, in the presence of light, and in absence of blue light. Now, in the absence of blue light, you can see this structure, and you can see this structure. Now we will study these structures. How are they different from each other in the next sequence? So now, as shown above, photodropin contains of two light sensory domains, that is LOV one, LOV two. These are two different. This shows the, in the absence of blue light. This shows in the presence of blue light. LOV one, LOV two. All right. So now each of it is binding to the chromophore FMN. You can see FMN is bind here. This is also bound to bound with FMN. Now when in when we talk about dark reactions, FMN binds non-covalently bound to the LOV domains. All right. In case of dark. इन दी एबसेंस ऑफ लाइट ये नॉन कोवेलेंटली बंधा होता है ये नॉन कोवेलेंटली बाउंड होता है एफ एम एन एल ओ वी से दोनों में नॉन कोवेलेंट बाइंडिंग है एंड आफ्टर दैट दैट इज फोर फिफ्टी नैनोमीटर्स पे होती है जब लाइट पड़ती है फोर फिफ्टी नैनोमीटर्स पे तो एफ एम एम एफ एम एन मॉलिक्यूल कोवेलेंटली बाइंड्स टू द सिस्टीन रेजिड्यूज पहले नॉन कोवेलेंटली बाइंड होता है उसके बाद सिस्टीन रेजिड्यूज से कोवेलेंटली बाउंड हो जाता है जैसे ही लाइट पड़ती है ठीक है इन द पॉलीपेप्टाइड एंड नाउ फोटो एक्साइटेशन ऑफ द एलओ वी डोमेन रिजल्ट इन द एक्टिवेशन ऑफ द सी टर्मिनल सो नाउ जैसे इस पर लाइट पड़ी जैसे अभी तक था वेन एवर देर इज अबसेंस ऑफ लाइट वेन एवर देर इज एबसेंस ऑफ ब्लू लाइट द नॉन कोवेलेंट बाइंडिंग विल टेक प्लेस ऑफ एफ एम एन विद एलओ वी एज सोन एज द लाइट फॉल्स ऑन द डोमेन एफ एम एन विल बाइंड इन अ कोवेलेंट मैनर टू एल ओ वी एंड आफ्टर द बाइंडिंग टेक्स प्लेस वी कैन सी दैट फोटो एक्साइटेशन ऑफ एल ओ वी डोमेन टेक्स प्लेस एंड दिस रिजल्ट इन द एक्टिवेशन नाउ इन दिस केस वी सेट दैट लाइट आई लाइट की वजह से यहाँ पे जो बॉन्डिंग थी नॉन कोवेलेंट से कोवेलेंट हो गई एंड आफ्टर द कोवेलेंट बाइंडिंग देर इज अ एक्टिवेशन ऑफ द सी डोमेन दैट इज अरीन थ्रियोनिन काइनीज का एक्टिवेशन हो जाता है सी टर्मिनल डोमेन का एक्टिवेशन हो जाता है एंड इट लीड्स टू ऑटोफॉस्फोराइलेशन ऑन मल्टीपल सीरीन रेजिड्यूज ऑटोफॉस्फोराइलेशन में केस में क्या हो रहा है फॉस्फेट ग्रुप इज कमिंग एंड अटैचिंग सो देर फोर दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज ऑटोफॉस्फोराइलेशन ऑफ मल्टीपल सीरीन रेजिड्यूज so next is phototrophin has major role in the regulation of phototropism and chloroplast movement 
So chloroplast movement in the leaves occurs in order to control the light absorption and prevent the photo damage. So phototrophins ke aur bhi roles hai. Abhi tak humne bataya tha ki phototrophins ka kya role hai. Serene threonine ko isne activate karwana hota hai. Jab blue light padti hai. Ab blue light nahi hoti. So there is no autophosphorylation. And besides autophosphorylation, it also has a function of chloroplast movements. Chloroplast movements in leaves occurs in order to control the light absorption. Movement of chloroplast basically occurs in order to control मतलब लाइट एब्जॉर्बन ज्यादा है कम है हमें ज्यादा लाइट चाहिए कम चाहिए तो उसके बेसिस पे देर कैन बी द मूवमेंट ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड दिस आल्सो प्रिवेंट्स द फोटो डैमेज सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट इंसिडेंट रेडिएशन अगर वीक है मतलब हमें वीक लाइट है कम लाइट है तो इस केस में क्या होता है क्लोरोप्लास्ट मूव टू द अपर एंड लोअर सर्फेस ऑफ द मीजोफिल सेल्स एज यू कैन सी इन दिस टाइगर अपर सेल्स एंड द लोअर ठीक है लोअर सर्फेस पे आ गए एंड अपर सर्फेस पे आ गए वेन देर इज लो लाइट ठीक है इस केस में क्या होता है द रिस्पॉन्स शोन इन इज एक्यूमुलेशन रिस्पॉन्स दैट इज देल्प इन एक्यूमुलेटिंग ऑल द लाइट क्योंकि रिस्पॉन्स लाइट का कम है एंड द इवेंचुअली नीड लाइट तो वो क्या करेंगे वो अपर पोर्शन में अलाइन हो जाएंगे मीजोफिल सेल्स के क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड लोअर पोर्शन में अलाइन हो जाएंगे जैसे ही वो दोनों अपर एंड लोअर पोर्शन में अलाइन होते हैं सो इट you know ensures that there is maximum light which is being absorbed when they are arranged in this manner because the incident light is weak but in case of light which is strong strong light par bhi bahut tez light hai to is case mein kya hota hai they do not need much of the light absorption light storage is not that important for them for now so instead of arranging them in this manner they arrange themselves in राइट एंड लेफ्ट मैनर्स एज यू कैन सी है इंसिडेंट रेडिएशन जब हाई होती है द क्लोरोप्लास्ट मूव टू द सेल्स ऑफ इज पैरल टू द इंसिडेंट लाइट दे आर मूविंग पैरल टू द इंसिडेंट लाइट एज यू कैन सी ऑल राइट बट इन दिस केस दे आर लाइन दम सेल्स एट the top surface or the lower surface. So this is referred as accumulation response and this is referred as avoidance response. That is they avoid the huge amount of light. ठीक है तो इसकी वजह से it minimizes the light absorption and it maximizes the light absorption. Is it clear? What is accumulation response and what is avoidance response? And never and this is basically caused by Uh, you know chloroplast movement and which is in turn caused by phototrophins it is a function of phototrophins all right so now both phot1 and phot2 are localized in the plasma membrane and they also mediate the accumulated responses so phot2 is also you know present in the chloroplast envelope and probably mediate the avoidant response both these proteins work in association with chup1 that means phot1 and phot2 work together in response to chup1 chup1 kya hota hai chloroplast unusual positioning one protein chup is basically essential for anchorage of chloroplast so this question is very important what are phot1 2 where is their exact location and what is the exact location in which phot2 is again found and both of, for example a question can come phot1 and phot2 work in association with which protein so you have to tell it is chup1 and where is it located it is located in the sorry uh, it is uh, what is the function it is the main function is the anchorage of the chloroplast to the plasma membrane that is it helps in the attaching of chloroplast to the plasma membrane and also in the chloroplastic movement so this was all about phototrophins uh, you know and phototrophins ke case mein you need to remember what is the n terminal domain located in and what are the basic features of c terminal n terminal domain what are lob domains and what is photo uh, you know photo autophosphorylation dark mein kya hota hai or covalent bonding mein kab hota hai non covalent mein kab hota hai right this all is explained very clearly what is accumulation response what is avoidance response this is the small small flow chart of accumulation accumulation response and this is the small fourth flow chart of avoidance response you can see clearly the diagram accumulation and avoidance response are high light mein jab high light hoti hai to side pe aa jate hain because they do not want to store any light and in case of accumulation response low light hoti hai so means they have to accumulate they have to store some light so they come in this direction i hope it is all clear and i hope you guys like the video and don't forget to subscribe and share it among your friends guys and if you like the video just 
don't go without clicking the like button and also click the bell icon so that you can get the fastest notification as soon as I upload a video. So take care guys, bye.